The Contoso invoicing app is a demo application from Microsoft. To install the Contoso invoice app, you navigate to this URL. Then you click the Contoso invoice app folder here. You click this Contoso invoicing setup.zip. Then you go over here to download. That will download the file. Then I go to my downloaded files and we can see that this setup is here. I right click and then I'll choose to extract all. I'll just place it here, so I'll click Extract. That's it. Then I navigate to the Contoso Invoicing Setup. I can double click the Contoso Invoicing Setup.msi. Do that. I'll click Next. Here I'll just go with the default settings, so I click Next again. Click Next. And that's it. We can click Close. Now I'll minimize this. You can find your Contoso invoicing setup either here on your desktop. If you don't see it here, we will go to our file explorer. Then I can go to my C drive here, go into program files x86, find the Contoso Inc. Double click here, look in the Contoso invoicing, and this is the application that you want to open legacy invoicing app.exit that is the shortcut from here let me minimize this and i'll open it from the shortcut here this is our contoso invoicing demo application where you can use the data that is in the accounting the other ones those are just empty shells so we will navigate to the accounting for example i can go into invoices and here you can see some predefined rows, I can even add more. So here you can see that is ID 1025 that corresponds to that up here. To add a new row, for example, I just go up here to new record. Today's date, that is fine. I can give it a name, I'll just do my company name. Then I'll use a contact, let's just use my email here, like this. And we can even do an amount. I'll say 100 and we will say that it, this is invoiced. I can now click save and we have saved that into the system. That also means that if I close this one here and I reopen the application, I go to invoices here, you can see that this entry is here. Say that we want to reset our Contoso application, then I will close the application I'll open up my file explorer once more. I'll go to C drive, then I'll go to users. I'll pick my name here, that's my user account. I'll go to documents. I'll find the Contoso invoicing 1.0150 here. And here you'll find an Excel sheet, open that. Here you can see all the entries in the invoices. Say that you want to work with the accounts, cases or records, you can find them down here in the sheets. But we want to use the invoice. To reset, we just have to delete this row. So I click out here in the 27, I right click, I say delete. Then I remember to save my Excel sheet here. I can close that. And when I open up the Contoso invoicing app again, click invoices, that entry is gone. The next lesson is right here. And if you want help to your Power Automate problems, then you should join the I Love Automation Discord. We have more than 7,000 RPA developers ready to network and help you.